Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Titus with Mid Valley Mercenaries and I'm about to do a series of videos with the Kuyu waterfowl system. There's several articles of clothing that I want to go over with you guys and this is not really a description and like a detailed video. I will go over some of those but all these videos are going to be my review and how I see it and a little bit more details about the use of it. Um, I will talk a little bit about the details, but mainly I want to give you guys my feedback and what I think about Kuyu's waterfowl system that I've used for a whole season last year. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask them down in the comments below and I'll answer them to the best that I can. I want to wait a full duck season to give a review on these, some experiences that I had, temperatures, what I would wear in certain times of the year, what I wouldn't wear, stuff like that. So I'm really excited to bring you guys this series and it's just gonna be a chain event. So in this very first video, we're gonna start with the Strong Fleece 290 layering pant. Just to give you guys a heads up before we start, I'm going to put this in a playlist, so if you wanna see the rest of it and you're like, I can't find the other videos, because maybe they're not all in a sequence of videos together, you can go into our playlist and click on Kuyu Waterfowl System and I'll have all those videos in there so you can go through all of them and play them together. So here they are, this is after one season of use. I went with the ash color, it's kind of my favorite color. They also come in gunmetal, and I apologize if this offends anybody, but I'm kind of basically going to refer a lot to Sitka because I wore Sitka for so long, and Sitka was great. But honestly, guys, I personally like the coloring. I like the company. I'm in California, and Kuyu is a local business to me, so that makes it cool too because I'm supporting them. But also, I like their patterns. I like their solid colors. So like this one is ash. They also have Velo and some other ones, but Velo is my personal favorite. Like it just, that color, I've always liked that since it first came out from Kuyu. But uh, for these, I went with the ash because they have ash and gunmetal. Like I said, I am going to refer a lot of this stuff to uh, like Sitka's line only because I can give you guys a variation. So if some of you guys have worn that and you want to go with Kuyu or some of you guys have never even worn Kuyu or Sitka, I'm going to give you a lot of reasons why. Um, I love this product and plan on wearing it for a very, very long time. Again, that's not to say no other brands are good. I'm just saying this is my preference and I love it. So with this, it's a fleece, obviously, right? And Kuyu does like a layering system and, a, and numbers. So there's like 120, there's uh, 145, there's different levels, right? Basically standing for warmth. So on this one, I was actually very surprised with these. They're not thick, but I honestly thought these were going to be very hot. In California, our early season is still pretty warm, honestly. And I thought, man, there ain't no way I'm gonna wear these. And I do have another pair of Kuyu, the very thin ones that I wear early season. But these, I would say, as long as you don't get above you know 70 degrees 70 to 75 degrees if it's warmer than that then i'm going to wear those paper thin ones and i'm talking about a high for the day right because obviously it's cooler in the morning but in anything at 75 or below i'm wearing these and i'm really shocked at how good they breathe um, that's how they designed it that's how they made it as really good breathability i'll go over some of the details about this um, it's got the cinch straps uh, or cords in the front to tighten up and tie it. That's usually what I do. The pockets, I really like how they square these off. I thought it was interesting at first. I thought it was kind of interesting design, but I actually like it just for putting your hands in. It's almost like it's more comfortable and convenient than sticking in at an angle for a pocket. So I really, really like the pockets. I like how they kind of basically squared them off. I wear an extra large. The length is perfect. I am 5'10". 215 pounds and it fits me so if you want to go off a size reference I would say that's probably the best but what I like too about these is not not to pick on them like I said like the Sitka the Marsh which is what I wore for a long time I did not like wearing those in public or gas station or going out because it's gold I mean it doesn't really matter I'm not that self-conscious but it's like it just looks like a, a bad wrapper to me when you wear those in public but when you got this ash color it's neutral right and you can go anywhere you can go to town i mean for that matter you can go to dinner and it's not like you're sticking out like a sore thumb so obviously wearing these under the waders or just wearing them out on on daily activities they even say you could use these as basically like a jogger a clutch thing that they did on these pants like they did on their attack pants and some of the other ones is they have a zipper vent basically on the side on both sides of these pants so this is on the hip basically at the top of the hip down it's unbelievable how much of a difference i've noticed that that makes 
like on those on those warmer day hunts i would say like 55 to 75 i put these i for sure zip these down and that's why i leave it even when i get inside my waders or even just around town or out to breakfast or whatever we do afterwards but as you can see here you'll be shocked how much air that brings in these waders and how much more comfortable you feel so it's on both sides very convenient very nice and like i said i was very shocked of how much air you actually get when you zip those down and how much warmer they are when you have them zipped up last but not least and my favorite part of these pants is the cuff at the bottom so it i don't know how to explain it it's a little bit stretchy. I wouldn't say like spandex, but it's definitely a little bit of a different material here at the bottom. And like I said, I'm not gonna go over those super crazy details on the material fabric and the type and what it is and all that, because I could do that and make this video and have all those fancy words, but to be honest with you, I'm just trying to give you guys a review of what I've noticed and feel and see, just as a, a general hunter, right? You can go on their website at qu.com and you can see all the other details. But on this, I would say 100% that these are the nicest waiter pants that I've ever had. And this is not just for the side zip vents, but for this as well. So when you first slip these on, say you're just gonna, you're not gonna put your waders on right now, but you're gonna get out to the blind. These slide all the way up above your ankle, right? Or down, you know, to the top of your shoe or whatever. When you get out and you're like, okay, it's time to put the waders on, you just slide your heel into this split right here and I'm telling you guys you can't even tell it's there because it's just it's super flat and thin right and it's so convenient it's so nice it doesn't bunch up it, you don't feel this little strap tiny strap most a lot of waiter pants have that little tiny one that goes under basically between your heel and the front of your foot and it's like you feel that all day there this you don't feel nothing I really really like this it's very very convenient when you get done hunting you take your waders off you just pull that off the back of your heel and throw your Crocs on or your shoes on or whatever, and bam, you're ready to go to town and have breakfast after a good hunt. So I love these. These are my favorite waiter pants. I call them waiter pants. That's not what they're called in the site. They're called strong fleece layering pants because you can use them for so many things. That is what I like about a product when you can use it in so many different ways and it's so versatile. And that's what I really feel about these pants. So if you guys have any questions or comments that you want to ask down below, I'd love to help you guys out. I'd love to point you in the right direction and give you some pointers or um, answer some questions. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you guys on the next one.